Hey, travelers, it's a new year, but the same me, and the same Vicky, and the same Andy. For the most part. Yeah. 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 So we're back again, because Troy's off to Who, God knows where. Yeah. He's busy with things and stuff. Yeah. He's things the, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what he would call it, too. He's the busiest, Fair. not busiest person I know. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to Alex, who's As just- As opposed to Alex. The busiest person you know. Yes. <laughs> No reason to be that busy, Alex, but you always are that busy. <laughs> He's got nothing to say because it doesn't have a microphone. No. How nice I is that? I stole it. <laughs> like a so, good wife. Yeah, yes. I try. <laughs> so anyway, new year, but same things, but same cool things because we still have Hot Passport. Oh, you look at that segue, man. Hot yes. Passport. Ah, I, was, I didn't take broadcasting classes for nothing. <laughs> So hotpassport.com, you can find your hot passports there. It's still not too late because it's it's winter and I mean how many breweries can you really hit in the in the thick of winter? And True. Start a new year, guys. You got all year to go to all these breweries. Right. Yeah. And you, you want to get as much time as you can to go mm-hmm. to the breweries. Buy it sooner. Yeah. Buy it again later. If you fill it up, you can buy another one. Right. Right. Buy the combo. Get the uh, yeah. get the passport, the physical passport and the app. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All no matter how thing. you slice it, it's still two for one beers, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. And how can you go wrong with that? Don't drink that's without a, your that's passport. That's a cheap date. <laughs> 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 Don't drink without your passport. Yes, thank you, Vicky. So Andy was kind enough to bring us some beer from his neck of the woods. He yeah. used to live in the Appleton area, so he brought one of them, and then he brought a couple Madison beers. Right. Because that's all I'm good for. Bringing beers that you can't find here in Eau Claire. That's right. Except you can find one of these beers here in Eau Claire. Beer mule. Well, one of them. We'll get, we'll get to that when we open one, it up. One though. of them, but it seems to keep selling out. Right. I <laughs> yeah. I was actually surprised that I found it. But anyway, we'll get to that when we actually get to it. Did you know Eau Claire is actually in the top, what, 10 of uh, Drunkest, Drunkest Cities City. I think in, it was in number the United nine. States? Yeah. Number I believe nine? it. Pretty sure. Nice. Or that's it could be saw. higher. Could yeah. be. Yeah. I want to know. Very drunk. Eau Claire. I want to know who conducts that research and how they measure it. <laughs> I think it's like bars per capita and okay. also We have like a lot of bars. Yeah, but just because you have a lot of bars doesn't mean citations. that everybody's just wandering around in the streets drunk off their asses. No, it's true. I mean, we can't prove that they're not. True. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Wisconsin. Right. A lot, <laughs> of, a lot of drunk cities on the top 10 list. Yeah, I think something like six of the top 10 were Wisconsin. Yay, Wisconsin. <laughs> I don't know if that's what we really want to be known no, for. No, and I've I've lived in uh, two of the top ten, so including Mankato, Minnesota, they also made it. <laughs> Look at you, all college towns, overachieving. Yes, <laughs> I contributed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, should Uh-oh. probably pour this quickly. Yep, pour it. So this this one's from Giant Jones. Yes, and actually, there's a a label on the back that says uh, something about the yeast. And yep, uh, it's one of those bottle rockets. If you let it get too warm, but yeah. that doesn't affect the taste of the beer. So don't right. let that. Put you off from buying it, although by the time uh, this releases, um, it might be on hiatus until next year. But still, go to Giant Jones if you can. Um, just if you're going to America. Madison. If you're going to Madison, Wisconsin, to get drunk, because right. it also made the top ten of drunk. Of course, cities. it did. That's a college Obviously. town. Yeah. Top ten college town too. Let's be honest. I mean, top ten for who? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it, it makes the bottom. Five thousand for me. No, I'm but, saying it's yeah. it's in the love for Madison. Sports. I miss yeah. Madison. Yeah. I hate Madison. I would but move anyway. back to Madison in a heartbeat. <laughs> I, if what I, could. I like about Madison <laughs> is I have friends there. Yeah, <laughs> and there's hey. and there's beer. Right, so. exactly. So yeah, uh, I think I've talked about Giant Jones on the, the vlog, and before. we've and we've had one on the vlog before. Yeah, yeah. but uh, this is the Burton Ale, which I think last time I had one up, uh, I had only just tried it like the day before. So I thought coming back up again. Might as well bring one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is the Burton Ale. It's a medieval-style beer, uh, so no hops as bitterants. Oh. Um, I can't remember what she used in it, but it's not hops. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Comes in at around 10.1%, something like that. Is that... Maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> We've confused him. Well, I'm and trying. I'm trying to think what the bitterant <laughs> is, and that's yeah. Is it um, molasses? I honestly don't remember. I should have done more research before coming on here. Well, you wouldn't be on the vlog if you did research. I, well, there is that. Troy's been doing it lately, and it just seems odd. Yeah, it's I, made for better listening, though. I have to say, I, listening to someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Yeah. So you don't. I like apologize the, for. You don't like the confusion, right? 
I really enjoy the description on this one. Summons fresh biscuits with marmalade in a field of daisies, defying supposedly dominant trends. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. that sounds like something. You bet. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like Giant Jones. We'll have to next time you guys come and visit. We'll have to go. So, man. Yeah. I want to say that's got the like the bitterness of molasses, but yeah. Troy and I had gone over this. I think last week or two weeks, three weeks. I don't remember how many weeks ago. Yeah. By the time this Thanks episode probably comes right. out, probably six weeks. Let's face Honestly, it. Honestly, I don't remember where I am or <laughs> what time it is. We're in a time vortex right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, uh, when I started getting into craft beer, I was mistaking molasses for hops. Interesting. Hmm. Because of the bitterness. Yeah. Every Everything bitter, I just, my mind related to hops. And so when you when you start yeah, and when you start tasting more, you know, you try more things, and you you go, oh, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. Then your mind, you know, switches. Mm -hmm. But it's like tasting food, right? You know. Um, But yeah, my favorite thing to do with one of these beers is I have an actual horn uh, mug. I saw that that. I got from um, my in laws, and even better if you don't have to pay for it right those horns are expensive they yeah um so thanks dan and brenda for giving me that two christmases ago now but um basically since this is a medieval style beer pour it into the horn gotta pour it in the horn you can literally have a horn of ale you can have a horn of ale. Mm -hmm. so can you bring that into giant jones and they'll fill up your horn of ale i haven't tried yet yeah um i might have to now check it out let us know report back yeah we'll do and you go, I mean, if they if they say no, you go, come on, I just want a horn of ale, please. <laughs> I'll pay the same as not a horn of ale. Look I'm, lo- I'm looking it up just to see if I can find any information on it. They tend not to have that much information. Oh, maybe they do. Sometimes used as a stock ale for blending with younger beers, really. Hmm. Huh. Look at that. Look at us learning. Hmm. That was a very Troy noise. Some consider Fuller's 18 for a modern example of Burton Ale. Oh, I'll be damned. You know, Untapped sometimes has information on right. it. Not always. And what I've also found with uh, Untapped, sometimes breweries don't want to put their beer on Untapped, so you get to do it for them. <laughs> I've found a few of those. Yeah, I've had to do it a few times. Mm-hmm. You want that check in. Yeah. Exactly. And to get that check in, you gotta put it out there yourself. So <laughs> yep. or sometimes you'll like look up a beer and it's labeled wrong and it's like, oh, this was somebody who was <clears throat> drunk trying to enter in the beer just yeah. so that they could yeah. record it. It's like you're drinking um what was the example that I had? I think it was a scotch ale and someone untapped it as a strong ale. I was like, those aren't the same thing. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Yeah. Then you have the Troys of the world who misspell everything when they, <laughs> when they put it yeah. in there, and you I just go, that's imagine. wrong. Yeah. Everything yeah. about this is wrong. Can we delete these <laughs> and make our own? That's not how any of this works. <laughs> this is all wrong. Anyway, very good beer. Yeah. And, it, and if we ever find out what the bitter in it is. Yeah. In it, if you know, comment right one below. Of, one of these days, we'll have Jessica on the vlog, and... She is a wealth of knowledge. I can I can tell you that much. She will just go. I love beer knowledge. Yeah, she will. It's good stuff. Just keep talking. <laughs> not not in a bad way either. That's, like it's that's, all interesting. And that's great for us, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. I I mean you know you know how we talk. <laughs> <laughs> so future that's, future maybe episode next year. That's cool. the one. That's the one thing when we interviewed Josh Noel. Yes. From the the Tribune in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could have let that guy talk. We had to for, cut him short for an at hour. a certain point. Yeah. yeah, and we needed to get on the the bus to go drink more. Right. So we could have let him talk forever. Yeah, I'd like to have him back one of these days. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to go down to Chicago. Yeah, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of Vicky's favorite places. <laughs> yeah, Chicago. Right. Another so, place I have lived. And while we're yeah. down there, we might as well born in Chicago. Uh, touch oh, base with uh, nice. Trevor from Old Irving. He's been making. Yeah. Uh, making some waves lately. Yeah. Amazing so. beer there. He Amazing did a, food. He did a video with Brewdog. Oh, did he? Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. I'll so if you go, go out on Facebook, if you follow Brewdog, they uh, they stopped into Old Irving and they did uh, kind of a crazy pairing beer and hamburger. Interesting. Yeah. So they made like an off the wall hamburger to go with the beer. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. And Old Irving, the food is just fantastic. Oh, I, if, if you haven't watched that episode already... 
You should definitely do that. Yeah. And Trevor that... was a four star chef before he started the brewery. Yeah. I might be undercutting you, Trevor, and I apologize. Um, but amazing. Yeah. Amazing, An amazing, amazing chef. Regardless of how many stars he had. And the but, chef that he has there now, also a highly touted mm-hmm. chef in the Chicago Correct. area. So the beer was fantastic. The food was possibly better than the beer. <laughs> yeah. And the beer was setting a very high bar. Yes, it was. And the, wow. and they make really high end cocktails too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh goal for Christmas twenty twenty. We need to get a bottle of Krampus. For oh the next yeah. Twelve beers of Christmas. Wow. I thought about that after the last Christmas episode I was on. Uh, where you mentioned that uh, more breweries need to make more Christmas beers. Like you know, a week later, I was like, you know what? Krampus would be perfect. Speaking of Krampus, I had actually somewhat uh, thought about getting my name in for the Krampus bottles because you, you have to... Yeah. It's one of these very special releases where you have to get your name in, get mm-hmm. in line, and you know all that It does stuff. like four variants now, too. Right. And it's even more like in demand. I had considered it, and then I thought, how in the hell am I going to get down to Chicago? So... Well, do it for next year. The, the, the pickup window is a very uh, short amount of time. Yeah, so. I'm aware. But my brother also lives like <clears throat> a mile away. So. Well, then we need to start uh, using and abusing your brother. Right. So anyway, that, that's that's besides. We digress a lot. <laughs> anyway, this no. so, so yeah. Anyway, yeah. The, the, Bring uh, it back to Wisconsin now. Quick Trip, which w- a, all all Wisconsinites are just in love with Quick Trip. True. I'm not a Wisconsinite. Yeah. Well, Wisconsin, but, Minnesota, Iowa. I think I was, in I was, now I was too. more in love Illinois. with Casey's. Oh, there Illinois is, is the and, Quick and, Star. Yeah, quick Star is... It's the same chain, but they... Yeah. Because Iowa has the Q-W-I-K oh, trip. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah. Anyway, so they partnered with Carbon 4, which is a brewery out of Madison, to make uh, this beer, which is the Glazer Bean um, Coffee Stout. For so, their donuts, their right. Glazer donuts. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So named after the Glazer donuts and then a coffee stout because, you know, who what doesn't want to start the donuts? day with donuts and coffee? Right. Or a beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so apparently they are going to be expanding the program and Carbon 4 will be making more beers in this Quick Trip series, but this is the one to kick it all off. As long as they don't make a pizza beer. <laughs> Let's hope We not. don't need any of that. No. <laughs> They can make the. Uh, have you ever been to Quick Trip and had the the corn dogs that are wrapped in the the pancake? I stay away from anything on a stick. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't. You haven't lived life yet. Uh, yeah, well, that does it. sound good because I'm not a huge fan of cornmeal. So pancake sounds like an improvement on the whole corn dog. Around a piece of sausage. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Not very good for you, but it's really good. Yeah, I might have to make an exception to my nothing on a stick rule. So anyway, the the beer, the first thing I get is a little bit of coffee. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not an overly coffee, like, hit you in the face, like, hey, you're awake now. <laughs> no, 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 no. And it, they must have definitely used the Quick Trip coffee because that's what it tastes like. Does it? Yeah. yeah. I've never had Quick Trip coffee. Well, you don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> but I do eat a lot of donuts, and this reminds me a lot of the Glazer Donuts. It so. really yeah. does. It's... It's a good combination for their first collaboration, too, mm-hmm. because Quick Trip is known for those Glazers. Yeah. And... Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, Coffee every donuts. time you go to check out at the, you know, they ask you if you want donuts, and you go, no, I, j- I just wanted to buy gas. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need donuts, too. Not today, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> don't the, tempt me. The next time I go in there, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> Actually, they are kind of like Krispy yeah, Kreme. They're yes. very reminiscent of the old, very old school <clears throat> Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Apparently, Andy's already had too much to drink. Woo. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, great beer. I, this is, yeah. you know, you read a lot of the the hype or you read a lot of the the things that, that people say about a beer and you go, well, I still got to try it to, right. to get my own. I understand now why it's been flying off the shelves. Yeah. When it first came into Eau Claire, we could barely, we could barely get it. Hmm. Most Not just Eau Claire, all over the state, like. I remember yeah. the week after it was released, uh, Robin and I were coming from Madison to go visit her parents, and we stopped at two quick trips, because that's how many bathroom breaks Robin usually takes on a trip, uh, <laughs> and both of them were sold out. Like, Wow. You could see the racks, because they had all the signage there. They're like, Glazer Bean, like, new beer. And I'm like, there's no beer here. Nope. So I, I like went into the back of the cooler, like, maybe they're hiding it somewhere. Nope. Just gone. So... 
popular choice. I, I tell mm-hmm. you, Wisconsinites love their quick trip. Right. Yeah, and they love beer, as we all know. Wisconsin and beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. It goes yeah, together beer. like coffee and donuts. goes together like coffee and donuts, but not like coffee and pizza. Nobody, don't do that one, please. That's not a combination, Let's not no. do that. Please don't. So this next one is uh, Lion's Tail. Yep. And, of course, we saved the IPA for last. Right. But at the same time, it's been a while since we had a Lion's Tail beer oh on my. the vlog. So Look at that. This crawler pours. A crawler <laughs> without, without no a spill? No drops. I'm impressed. Yeah. Well, depending on the crawler, these, these tall ones tend to pour a little better than the short and fat ones yeah. for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. So this is Juice Cloud, and it's probably as close to a flagship beer as you're ever going to find at Lion's Tale. Um, it certainly is cloudy. Alex's whole motto is we don't really have flagships, but they've been making this beer consistently for two, two and a half years since I've known them. Sure. So, um, it actually predates the Haze Craze, really? believe it or not. Really? Um, so this was, or it might be like right at the start of the Hazy IPA craze. But um, this was probably the first hazy IPA I had ever had, other than maybe one that you brought back from Boston. Um, but yeah, Trillium. Yeah, for sure. Oh, this trillium, was the first yeah. Wisconsin hazy IPA that I had ever had, and it it stands up. I would say that this is probably one of the better ones out there. You certainly get a lot of the grapefruit. Yeah, tropical yeah. fruit on notes a, on, on the, the nose, nose, for sure. And then it just finishes nice and almost like orange juice. Yeah, you don't get you don't really get a hot punch right at all. So. Yeah, it's definitely still got some of the bitterness that you associate with IPAs, but right. which is the thing that I usually don't like about IPAs. But I like this one. Mm-hmm. It's this it's, is actually one of the few IPAs that Robin's like that Robin yeah. likes as well. Yeah, it's juicier than it is Correct. bitter. A juice we'll call cloud. Called a called a <laughs> juicy IPA instead of a. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, that's how they were branding it um, when they first started. So again, it kind of almost predates that that haze craze, like I said. And then they've done uh, variants like everybody else with like Amarillo and all the other uh, famous hops. But <clears throat> yeah, um, kudos again to Alex for making an amazing beer. Yeah, and yeah, this and is very good. We need to make it up there to. Uh... To do an episode, yeah. Yeah, to do an episode, do a vlog with him. Yep. All that great stuff. It's um, it's coming. I've been I've been reassured. They just have to, <laughs> uh, you know how it is with juggling oh, kids' yeah. schedules and it everything is. like that. So that's the only thing that's keeping us from doing an episode right now. And really, now is, that's, that's the only that thing that, that keeps Taproom Travelers from doing more episodes, too, is life. Right. Scheduling is awful. Mm-hmm. It is. It really is. Sometimes life just gets in the way. Mm-hmm. Life finds a way, and then it finds a way yeah, to get it finds in the in way. It, yeah, <laughs> in a big way. Right. Big roadblock all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, Andy, I think I turned my beer mule title over to you uh, for bringing. Oh, for beer. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're not venturing out that far I, these I'm days. I'm staying closer to home these days. Yeah. I used to bring Wisconsin beer elsewhere and elsewhere beer to Wisconsin. Yeah. But. Well, maybe next contract you'll get is going to be in like California or something. Only dream. <laughs> Summer ever, warm. If right. I could ever be in South Dakota for more than a day, I would probably bring a ton of that back too. Mm-hmm. But it's tough. Yeah. You know, eight hour drive out, eight hour drive back. And again, pro tip: always travel with spotted cow when you're leaving Wisconsin. Oh, I do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. People go nuts for it. At yeah. the very it's a least, good beer. at the very least, just go in and go. Hey, I'd like to leave you with a with a nice gift because I like your beer, and then you never know what you're going to get in return. Exactly. It's true. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Hot Passport, hotpassport.com, all the information's below. All the information also is below about our next event at the Pablo Center. So the first one's sold out. Surly's all sold out, but you can certainly get tickets for the other events. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a Tuesday night, but we have some very hip hotels in Eau Claire that you can stay at. And you can certainly join us at the after party at, uh, I think most of them are at the Firehouse. It should be fun. Yeah. So we'll we'll drink with you, and I'll go to work hungover the next day. So that'll be nice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you haven't already checked us out on all of the social media channels, you should do that. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, right here on YouTube. And listen to the podcast, guys. And listen to the podcast. Absolutely. Wherever you get your podcasts from. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, comment, subscribe, and like. Anyway, we'll see you next week, everybody. Prost! Salud. By now, you've probably figured out that we like visiting different breweries, and we've been pretty vocal about one of our favorite travel companions, Hot Passport. When you visit any of the breweries highlighted inside, you either get two-for-one pints or buy one, get one. That means you only have to visit a fraction of the breweries we do to get your money's worth. Visit HotPassport.com to get one featuring your state today. Hot Passport. Don't drink without yours. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.